Africa is a resource-rich continent with economies driven by growth in varied sectors such as trade, finance, manufacturing, agriculture, tourism, mining and information, and communication technology. Africa annual GDP continues to outpace the global average and has some of the world's fastest growing economies with growth rates estimated at 3.4% for 2019, which is projected to accelerate to 3.9% in 2020 and 4.1% in 2021. Six of Africa's economies are among the world's 10 fastest growers, Rwanda, Ethiopia, Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana, Tanzania, and Benin. The transformation witnessed across the continent demonstrates the gradual progress being made in achieving the aspirations of Agenda 2063, such as Aspiration 1, which envisions a prosperous Africa based on inclusive growth and sustainable development, and the ambition to increase Africa's influence in the global economy captured in Aspiration 7, Africa as a strong, united, resilient, and influential global player and partner. To ensure that the growth and development of African economies continues on a positive trajectory that is inclusive and sustainable, the Economic Affairs Department works with member states and a wide array of development partners and private sector to promote the development of policies and creation of institutions that will promote regional economic integration and private sector development. The department implements its mandate through four divisions. Economic Integration and Regional Cooperation private sector development, investment, and resource mobilization, economic policies and research, and statistics. The African Union Commission, from its Department of Economic Affairs, offers a systemic approach to African leaders and decision makers to achieve this productive transformation on the continent. The productive transformation of the African economies should make it possible to, one, to help overcome dependence of the import of primary products. Two, to create sufficient production and three to provide more employment opportunities to absorb the 10 to 12 million youth entering the labor market each year. To achieve this, a systemic approach to productive transformation in Africa entails focusing on three step sets of policies. One, developing business clusters of firms. Two, facilitating regional production networks. And three, enhancing firms' abilities to thrive in new markets. Within the framework of Agenda 2063, the department works to deliver the African Union's goal of creating the African continental financial institutions which will play a pivotal role in mobilization of resources and management of the African financial sector. The financial institutions envisaged to promote economic integration are the African Investment Bank and Pan-African Stock Exchange, the African Monetary Fund, and the African Central Bank. There is no way you can, I mean, uh, 
develop policies without uh, you know proper statistics. So in terms of, um, I mean, we, today we are talking about CFTA. We will make sure that when, it's, uh, when it comes time to adopt, let's say, um, programs and uh, projects, we must make sure that we have uh, more uh, accurate statistics on trade. Uh, we, today we are talking about uh, migration. There is no way you can put, uh, let's say, effective policy on migration management without getting, I mean, without uh, statistics, proper statistics. So all of this uh, data must make sure that when you go to Kenya, you go to Ghana, you go to, to let's say, to Uganda, you have the same data. You don't need to try to make to, to, to work hard to make sure that what you have in Ghana or in Kenya and Uganda, you must harmonize them or align them yourself. But we, if we follow the SASHA, which, which is the uh, continental strategy for the harmonization of statistics, it will be very easy for Africans or government policy makers to make sure that they have accurate, I mean, accurate data and then it will help them to have, uh, uh, let's say, uh, effective policies for the continental integration and development here. Private sector is widely recognized as the engine for driving inclusive economic growth in Africa and the sector with the highest potential to reduce poverty and support sustainable growth. The African Union, through its various public-private partnership engagements, including partnerships with African philanthropists, works to implement key development initiatives at a regional and continental level. The Agenda 2063 flagship project, the African Economic Platform, is an annual multi-stakeholder meeting that assembles the African private sector and stakeholders in academia, civil society, and public policy to identify strategies to accelerate Africa's economic transformation by harnessing its vast resources to enhance the development of the African people. The Department of Economic Affairs is also at the forefront of promoting the use of African data sourced from authoritative national sources to enhance the use of verified statistics and data for development. The African Union's African Charter on Statistics promotes the use of statistics for development in Africa and sets out the guidelines which are to guarantee the production in real time of quality, harmonized statistics on Africa in order to meet the needs and standards which make them Africa's statistics of reference. To integrate the use of statistics in the National Economic Development Goals and programs of African states, the department has two institutes to achieve this endeavor, namely the AU Institute for Statistics, Statafrique, and the Pan-African Training Center on Statistics, Panastat. For the implementation of the financial institutions, we made some study because we got, uh, I mean, we were requested by member states to investigate on why member states are not ratifying, uh, ratifying protocols, I mean, legal instruments. So what was come up from that study is that we, first of all, uh, there were kind of uh, lack of information on a member state's level, on exactly uh, statutory contribution and so on, you know. And then also the advocacy, we don't really promote at the continental, I mean, uh, towards our member states to make sure that they understand they own all these uh, institutions and then they can easily sign, ratify and, and, and domesticate. And the last one is political will. We really call upon all member states because integration, you can't today survive if we are not integrated because we are micro countries, micro markets and so on. So we must come together and make sure that we are integrated and then we can be uh, uh, more, uh, stronger than who we are today. Find out more about Agenda 2063 and the work of the African Union in promoting Africa's economic integration by visiting www.au.int.